wake up. Wake up. Wake up! Wake up, Warhawks! Because it's time for News at Noon for Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. I'm your host, Austin Horn, here with... Dixie Tyler. Today's news is brought to you by the Warhawk Watch. Friday, they will begin their Save the Boobies campaign to raise awareness for breast cancer and the plight of bees worldwide. Together, we can make a difference. Details are following in the coming days. Seniors no longer need to report to the testing lab to complete demographic information for work keys today. That information will be input at a different time. However, ACT work keys testing will take place tomorrow morning in the testing lab for all seniors. ACT work keys assessments are the cornerstone of ACT workforce solutions. The assessments measure foundational skills required for success in the workplace and help measure the workplace skills that can affect job performance. Unlike other assessments, they don't simply give an indication of reading and writing competency. Instead, they measure a range of hard and soft skills relevant to any occupation at any level and, and across industries. Employers use ACT work keys to determine an appropriate entry-level position for you based on your skills. Seniors will report to first period and then be called to the testing center. Make sure you sleep well and eat well tonight. Congratulations for the sophomores who completed the pre-ACT yesterday. We hope that your scores let you know what you need to do to better yourself before those scores start to really mount. Tomorrow night, there will be a football game away at Northside Methodist in Dothan. The game will take place at the City of Dothan Fields. Volleyball will travel to their area tournament. Good luck to our senior ladies in their final high school volleyball tournament. They are Candace uh, Buckhalter, Gabby Wilson, and Mariah Thomas. School will still be in session on Friday, so make sure you are present. Triumph Honor Society will meet Friday during homeroom to vote for officers and make preparations for the induction. Teachers, a list of participating students will be sent to your email. Next week begins Free College Application Week. Students will be working with the guidance department to complete applications and submit them for free. ESCC will be on campus on Wednesday to assist you in completing your FAFSA. Seniors, talk to your parents and get your tax info ready. Next Thursday will be a half day for students and a conference day for parents. The ninth week uh, ends the 21st as well, so make sure you check your grades in power school. Senior night for students participating in football season activities will be next Thursday night, 21st. This will include um, cheerleaders, senior football players, senior band members, and senior members of the JROTC color presentation team and the PT team. Forms will be available from the front office beginning Monday. Next Thursday, the JV basketball team will play Dothan Prep at home at 4.30. They will also attend the Southdale basketball tournament on Saturday, the 23rd. Red Ribbon Week begins the 25th. Look out for more details. Fall pictures are scheduled for October 26th. These are the pictures that you will see in the yearbook, so look pretty. Andy and the yearbook editorial staff want you to know that the 21-22 yearbook is now available for purchase for $45 through their online portal. A link is available on the school website. The yearbook will contain students 9 through 12. There are lots of pages for lots of pictures of you. Buy one before they run out. Tomorrow's breakfast is a Nutri-Grain bar fruit cocktail, sort of juice, and milk. Tomorrow's lunch is country fried steak on bun, ranch, baked uh, potatoes, mixed vegetables, cinnamon apples, and milk. Weather for today is a high of 84 and a low of 62, and weather for tomorrow is a high of 86 and a low of 65. That's all for today. Go Warhawks!